And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Here it comes down one more time to a kicker after all the battle that's been waged out here tonight. As it so often does. 43-yard attempt from the right hash mark. And, oh, he hits the upright again. That's impossible. And the Eagles run out into the field, but there's still five seconds. He does it again. Bottom line, it doesn't go through. It looks like it bounced off the crossbar as well. Oh, my goodness. The Bears' season's going to end on a double doink. <laughs> One. Unbelievable. How many times can they hit the upright? Five. Un in the stadium. And one last week. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles. That's right, everybody. It's Miracle wow. Monday. It is the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Sirius XM 95. I'm Big J. Okerson. Dan Soder is off doing his billions thing, uh, sitting in today uh, with us. Uh, Shane Gillis hanging out. Yes. As well... As a uh, returning champion, everybody, Merck Face, Andy Fiore. Happy New Year, gang. From the Raw Report. That's it. The double R. The double R. And uh, I'll tell you, everyone, it's uh, it's only 627. So uh, I'd say you're welcome, everyone, for getting on before the half hour mark. This place is a real shitbox. <laughs> we sit again in the fucking comedy office during our studio's hours because the studio, what was it, Lou? What's today? Uh, the problem is the uh, it's something called the profit system, and uh, if it shuts down, you can't get on the air. Ugh. Profit system? Why mm -hmm. does that word make make sense for that? Do you know? It doesn't. You don't even know what profit system means. That's no. How are we supposed to fix it? This place is always under construction. Yeah. Why is there so much wood? Why is there so much exposed wood in this place? It's satellite radio. We've handled the. We shot something into space. <laughs> and we can't figure out a uh, consistent flooring. We blew our wad on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, really, we, we really popped our fucking cord, huh? I guess so. Holy shit. Shane, I can tell you, I can see your uh, hesitation to go at the, at the man. I don't want to, I don't want to strike the hand that doesn't Funny. really feed me. Come, at all. <laughs> yeah. Come, guy. Yeah, might yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah. Let's get some radio Compound's work going. Nice. Compound fucking studio is. Nice. Let me tell TVs, you. TVs, yeah, yeah, the green screens and shit. Lots of white guys. <laughs> so so white guys white. hanging out. We believe in free speech. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even you fucking dare try to take my you. guns. Even there, Black Lou is a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's Italian. He's Italian. Yeah, yeah it's pretty Black close. Lou. They call him Moonyan Mul Lou. <laughs> He's Italian. Um, uh, yeah, what the fuck, man? A half hour late. We're starting today, and I had so much fun stuff to talk about. I had Shane Gillis came in, and we were all goosed up by the Eagles. And and congratulations, Black Lou. I'm not going to be a bad sport. I wasn't rooting for the Cowboys, but I'll tell you what. This week I am, and it's not because of which is the easier team I want, ultimately. I do like the storyline more of the Eagles not getting swept by the Cowboys and getting a chance to beat them. I like their emotion behind that more, but also just because uh, fuck the Rams cares, and and I think that would just be a, a more fun thing to see. you got to want the Cowboys. Is the possibility. I'd, like, I'd rather play the three Cowboys. times to one team this season. Right. It's very no, hard to not. do. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. hard to do. The last time it happened I mean, was the Cowboys and Eagles, but don't look it up. Don't yeah. What was it, the 90s? No, early 2000s, actually. Yeah, but like the early aughts. <laughs> yeah, real early, like when, 9 11. Oh, we're talking early aughts right now? Oh, shit. Why don't we go back? Who was fucking Not a top? lot of playoff wins. Yeah, number one since song. 96, Black Lou. <laughs> number one song on the count of that week, Time in a Bottle, Jim Croce. <laughs> uh, Villanova graduate. How you <laughs> Jim Croce? Yeah. Did not know that. That's instra oh, you, all, all Villanova knowledge, you know. It's the only sports joy I get right now. 2018 <laughs> National Champs. Yeah, it was great. All my other squads are fucking done. Were you a Kerry Kittles guy? Yeah, that, I got there right after Kerry Kittles. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And he was a New Jersey Nets guy, so it had double meaning for me. That's and awesome. Those yeah. guys had fucking foreheads you could sell loose space <laughs> on. <laughs> uh, the Eagles. Uh, Black Lou, your thoughts at all on that game? I mean, that was insane. It was insane. Great game, uh, even though I don't hey. watch the Eagles. Great game. But give the Eagles defense some credit. They blocked the field goal. Yeah, they yeah, blocked yeah. it. Did, it, they was, it, it was, was, did it get it? Was he clipped it? It he was tipped. It was? Give them credit, yeah. They keep oh, blaming shit. the kicker. No. Nah. 
It got yeah. clipped, really? That's all this. I will say this. All this shit talk, if the Eagles are close with the Saints at all, yeah. man, they deserve to miss a fucking field goal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, I, I, like, I mean, obviously I like the Eagles, but I felt horrible oh, for that God. fucking kicker. Good God. Do you know what's crazy? It was... Uh, was it against the what was the, the Cowboys game that the Eagles lost was the nail in the coffin wasn't didn't didn't they miss a kick or what was the who had a crazy kick this season against the Eagles someone had like a sixty two yarder that, that beat always us. happens against the Giants but I say that, well, well, the, Eagles, say, the Eagles, Eagles did it to the Giants yeah, yeah. last year and that was like the beginning of their season just taken off so they, they kind of that season got kicked in the high gear from a field goal the game that I thought they lost this year where I was like that's pretty much mathematical to goal I thought it was the Panthers that somebody hit on that when they were up 17 nothing. no and there was lost. one that ended a that game one, that was when I was like oh this season's over there was a kick there was a field goal that ended a game and I was like wow their season gets ended uh, this year by a field goal it turned around yeah, was, wasn't it Dallas or some no? hardcore Eagles fans screaming at his radio right now it, it, was, was, it was fucking it Jacksonville was I, thought, I thought we beat you by a field goal, and then you had two games left. But whatever it was, you beat was, the Rams. was it a crazy far field goal? Might have been. A, I just don't remember. But whatever it was, it was a, it was a sixty-two yard field goal. I thought it was what sixty-two. Ended. Yeah, that's strong. It was They're fur, starting it was, to get it, that way. It was sure? a yard, it was a yard further than, than oh wow than oh shit. Jake so you do remember? And I'm I said sorry. It, it ended their. I thought it ended their season, and then. A missed field goal from the Bay. It's, like, it's weird how much field goal kicking is meant to the Eagles. Poor dude, man. I know. They showed the montage uh, of the five right other away. posts he's hit queued this up. year alone. NBC had it queued up. There. <laughs> they were just like, all right, this motherfucker's going to miss. That's good producing. Get Somebody was like, ready. cue that shit up. Did you see that? Dude. Oh, yeah. After yeah, he missed, it was like three in one game highlights. against Miami alone, which was insane. It's all crossbar or, or you know, uh, yeah. it's crazy. <laughs> he was an eagle for a minute. Yeah. Cody uh, Parkey. Yeah, but I mean, what what's his Cody Parkey? What's his next? I'll tell you what, he's so happy. And if, if, if you have to take positive, it was a playoff game, so you get to disappear now. Yeah. You don't have to be on the sidelines getting hounded for the next couple of weeks. But he is no way can he come back on that field next year. There's not no a way. chance to keep him. And yeah, and, and, and him going him. the way of Scott Norwood. Uh, there's no fucking chance he comes back. In fact, I, he shouldn't be there now. He should already be gone. It did get blocked. Yeah, uh, it did get tipped. And still had distance. Oh, it was officially changed. Yeah. yeah. They're just trying to make him feel Doesn't better. matter. I want to see it now. <laughs> now I need it's, to see it. It just grazes a, uh, a lineman's fingertips. Enough to make it exactly hit this guy exactly. from this point. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, the guy's got... I'll tell you what. If if you told that guy every time he hit that boat, you go, dude, you do that another, another game, I'll give you a million dollars. He'd be $5 million. He has, he has uh, there was an Instagram video of him just drilling a flagpole from like 40 yards away. Like practicing hitting a pole. Really? Yeah, and then he had a picture when it's he was, I think he was, he was at Auburn, he had a picture of the goalposts. He, oh, he was like, Where you goalposts are my best friends. He took a picture <laughs> of that years ago. I mean, this his whole life was, I was see built this for this moment. Blocked. Yeah, guy got a piece of it. Did anybody oh, take? I don't know how much bear. piece he got because that thing fucking, still had legs. The, the mascot bear collapsing. fell over. There's some oh. great. There's some yeah, great yeah. footage. Oh. There's some great footage. You could probably see the do like close up to the audience after that. Wow. I mean, World Star Hip Hop had this on. <laughs> the mascot falls like he was uh, in platoon at the end. <laughs> <laughs> he went down hard. <laughs> After watching it live, you didn't know if it clanked and then I went, it went through. In. I thought it clanked and went in. Me too. I didn't realize it hit two posts. Double doink, as Collinsworth said. It's really it uh, yeah, The season's going to end on yeah, a double Yeah, that's Collinsworth, point. dude. What a great call. <laughs> we were talking about this earlier. Do you think Collinsworth would just beat the shit out of Jay in a fight or nah? Uh, uh, no. I don't know. Collinsworth is a real skinny drunk. I know he's skinny, but, dude, he's wiry. He's an athlete. <laughs> he probably tagged Jay I think a he's got times. a little bit of that old school Pat Summerall in him. Like, he's he's just... Throwing back cocktails the whole broadcast. Dude, I swear to you, I'll bulldog him. Dude, he, yeah, dude, this give me what, Jay all the this way. This is what would happen. This is what would happen. I'll bulldog him. This is what would happen. Because the reason this started... Jay's got wallet chains and stuff you can use in a fight. I come with weapons. Yeah. I, this is all the type of bullshit that a guy like Kongsworth <laughs> would see and be like, get this riffraff out of my fucking face. And then I tag mean, he is riffraff, no doubt. Tag him once or twice and then be like, carry him away. So like... <laughs> 
I think he would jab you a couple times and you wouldn't get no close. No way. People would step in There's and push chance, you away. Dude. Collinsworth is in his 60s. Collinsworth would humiliate you. Just <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably have a glass of whiskey. Just this can trash out of my hallway. <laughs> a brandy? Something really <laughs> He'd come at him and be like, hey, Collinsworth, you suck. He'd fucking toss that at you. He goes, hey, listen, <laughs> I don't want any trouble out. here, kid. Yeah! And he Please. fucking throws he it in my face. fucking bangles. Come on. He blinds me. We, we talked about this long enough <laughs> that I felt bad and I fucking, the next day, texted Jay and I was like, for real though, I think you could probably beat up Collinsworth. Because he goes, he goes, seriously, I, I, I know you could beat up Collinsworth. I'm just busting shots. I wholeheartedly agree. He's an old, <laughs> yeah. he's an old drunk. You can get him. Of course. Dude, get Collinsworth on the phone, dude. He would tag you up. <laughs> yeah. Nah, here's, first of all, verbally he hurt me. fuck you up. I'm not going to travel there to knock that fat fuck out. <laughs> I don't even think you would address Collinsworth. He wouldn't even address you. <laughs> well, it's funny. I texted Shane yesterday when the game started because Collinsworth goes, I'm telling you, he goes, people are counting him out, but I'm telling you, he goes, watch out for the champs, and Collinsworth never says good things. I about mean, him. he hates the Eagles, and I was like, oh, someone's changing this, too. He yeah. probably got word that I was getting a little steamed ears up. were ringing, dude. I don't know who put that on that, but I mean, that was one of the best bets of all season. Plus six and a half. I go, the oh. Eagles might win that game outright. Uh, plus six and a half, and uh, the over under that? was forty two. How about that fucking spread in the uh, Seahawks Cowboys game? Right? What was it? It was two and a half. Oh yeah, and Sebastian then, Janikowski and then, yeah, got yeah. hurt, so Seattle went for two at the end of the game and cut it to two points. <laughs> when is Janikowski? Fucking Cow- insane, dude. Do you guys realize? Janikowski- oh, it fucked up the. Uh, it, I don't know what that means. Janikowski was a don't worry first about it. round. Don't worry about it, you fucking pre jack. <laughs> Of course you don't know what a fucking line is, dude. You're overexcited. I know, Jake. you got to be pissed off how uh, late we started today since I know you like to uh, come in early. <laughs> Yo, you fucking cummed your pants, you fucking bitch. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> dude, cummed, no subtlety in that one at all. cummed your pants is the best term ever. You guys hear Jacob come? <laughs> He cummed himself. You can't do that. <laughs> oh. You to do it, Shane. He you cummed tried? If you force cummed, that's fucking sick. You're like a Jedi. <laughs> Murkfish, you ever cum yourself? No, I've never had a wet dream. Me either. I've never had a wet dream. and I said they don't... I, 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 I would... Not bragging or anything, but I've never like popped off early. I've argued wet dreams yeah, aren't real. Dude. I've popped off Kinda early. Pop- as I've popped off. Quick. I've come quick. Quick, yeah. But I've never come before sex. I've never, you know, Jacob did my shorts. No, I've never come before the girl. Before, <laughs> um, I'm sure I have in my even, life, but I like really try getting a hand job. I really try hard I, not to. Recently, <laughs> I never just. I'll never. I'll never come. You're going to be jerking yeah. forever unless you come. I recently stopped. Go, uh, pushing and went down on her because I was like, I'm going to pop too quick. I got to prolong Damn. this. Damn. Oh, so yeah, I started yeah. going down on her. And oh, that's always a good move. It. You pull out and start yeah. Uh, yeah, eat a little box. Nice. In between, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, guys know, you slide down and you get back in. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, oh, wait a second. I, I, I don't know where I want to eat your pussy for a little bit more. Hang Damn, on. I'm just thinking about <laughs> both those beards going down on some fucking. Oh, yeah. Oh, little, hell yeah, little dude. Little Brillo pad in be, there. You better be quiet. Fucking Seriously. Though. Jacob might pop. Your beard will really smell. Beard holds pussy, though. Like yeah, pussy it does. Oh, really? I can't yeah, grow a beard. I've never experienced this. Later on, you'll feel. For like better or for worse. Weird inside moisture. It gets in there. Do you, Jay? So you know how, like, when you shower, like, mm-hmm. it takes it's it, your beard stays weirdly wet mm-hmm. for like, a, even though you like you thought you dried it off with the towel, and it's then underneath. like you walk in, yeah, that's like the pussy juice. That's really? stays in there too. Yeah, I you almost wore a mustache once. Still there. Hey, it's right for better or for worse. Stank puss will also hang in there too. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Young Learned Jedi. a lot today. Young Jedi, hey, Dems you'll the, see. Dems the brakes. <laughs> Someday I'll get a beard. When you start when you start banging a girl that's in her mid-20s, you'll see. <laughs> no, I'm fucking staying. Um, they're going to make a lifetime documentary about girl. me, dude. Yep. How old's Baby Girl? Baby Girl is uh, 23. Oh, Shane, you are you? right in there, yeah, buddy. Yeah, but you're young. I'm 30. I just turned 31. Oh, that's that's fine. You're so in the pocket, dude. That was right where it was going. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, sh- um, I don't think I'm bad in bed. I just think I had a bad. Don't you don't have to defend yourself, okay, man, no, no, But everyone's talking about the. <laughs> we, had, we had moved on, Jacob. Can what you do you hold... mean? You were in the middle of it. There's w- no way you had moved on. You're, are you, you filming, filming him? Are you filming are you Jacob? Filming talk? me? I went back up and show the whole picture there. You look like uh, in the doors when Jim Morrison's telling the story. You should be holding a feather while you do this. Goes, <laughs> I remember it was 1969, Miami. I blew a hot batch right in my shorts. <laughs> Kim Basinger was there. Oh, oh, man. Good win, though. Congratulations. Nice, Jacob. Nice there you go. Um, 
He really came out of there. Jacob, it's fine, dude. You popped off in your pants. I'm Piece telling you, shit. I wish that I could do that. Yeah. Why? Well, then I could understand. Let's go to a strip you club. Excited. Hey, you want to go to a strip club? I wouldn't look at that as like, uh, it was like, oh, I can pay $25 and come. I'm a yeah, fucking never. jizz. I'm a jizz in here? Absolutely. I hope one day you can get over the affliction of lasting so long that a woman always comes not first. That. <laughs> That's not what it I'll is. Never, I'll never overcome that. That Christine, is my curse. That Christine, is my I apologize curse. to you that so, I it's typically my must curse. make you come first. I'm sorry. That's a gentleman right there. Yeah, usually multiple times. Christine's actually gotten mad at me because... <laughs> never. If it's something where, where she's not going to be able to finish... For whatever reason, whether it was like back when you were drinking or whatever, she would get furious if I'd be like, well, then I'll stop. And she'd be like, no, like you. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. Really? You would do that? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Jacob, what do you think about that, dude? I don't think it's sweet so much as like spiteful. Oh. (laughs) How's that spiteful? More abusive than... I thought it was very sweet. Now it's just very... We're going to figure out how abusive. Um, And that is... uh, Chris Collinsworth pops off real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Collinsworth? Yeah, up. right, dude. He uh, lasts all night. No way. Yeah. I was in Salt Lake City this weekend at a Wise Guys Comedy Club. Fantastic club. Super cool staff. Shows, the Saturday shows were packed. I think uh, both one sold out, the other one close to. Uh, it's a huge room. Yeah. So it was great. No offense. You know who would definitely sell out all those shows? Chris Collinsworth. Oh, Collinsworth <laughs> would fucking sell the fuck yeah. out. Collinsworth sells. And by the way, he sold out before he gets there. <laughs> no Please. press. Are you kidding me? Double C? They paper the shit out of there. <laughs> <laughs> but they, uh, but he, the club was super cool. He, now I got him in my head. He goes, he, uh, I wish that motherfucker would come in. He lives sideways. in your head, dude. He's got free real estate out there. <laughs> That's free real estate. <laughs> all of my head. Um, fantastic club. Uh, super cool, but in the green room all weekend, I was watching Bitch Among the Boys get there with congratulations, Black Lou. Um, <laughs> uh, that's the box we keep, Black Lou, and that's why he sounds weird. He's muffled. We keep him in a box on Mondays after uh, Cowboy wins. We can't trust those. We know all those fans are cokeheads. We don't want Lou. We don't want Black Lou doing jump uh, jumps off the wall and shit. Um, in Salt Lake City, I watched this the R. Kelly documentary. Oh, you know, surviving, uh, surviving R. Kelly. R. Kelly. It is insane. The cracks this guy was slipping through for so long with this trail of horror he's left <laughs> in his path. It's fucking crazy. I don't know how he wasn't stopped at any point of his thing. Anybody watch any of it? Uh, no. DJ Lou, you watched a little? Yeah, fucking love it. You loved it? Loved it. It's fantastic. It's, uh, well, I mean, like, it's well done, I should say. Everybody in his life, by the way, has turned on him. They interview uh, his childhood friends, people, employees that worked for him during this time. So there's, there's a bunch of girls. There's so there's more than him just pissing on fourteen year old because that oh. was the known one, right, buddy? That no. is just the tip oh. of the Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> the Pittsburgh Steelers. But look, I want to. This isn't going to be a very popular opinion, but who needs fucking friends and relatives when you got fucking young snits? <laughs> <laughs> hey, who needs friends when you got a bunch of fucking uh, pre? When you got a bunch of uh, yeah, fresh pubes. <laughs> now, R. Kelly doesn't like a girl. He doesn't like he doesn't like a child. No, he doesn't like a, not a pedophile. He doesn't like a child. It's not called a pedophile. We, we, a a fedrophile or something. It's called. I forget, Christine pulled. It I think it's just before. called being into hot fucking chicks. Yeah, it's just a whip. <laughs> but he likes the he likes the first crop of uh, the first crop bush they're ever shaved down or anything. All right. Can't blame him for that. No, yes, you can it's blame great, him for that. It's called it's called, called a fedrophilia. <laughs> no, they're like, literally, you can blame him in a court of law. <laughs> it's insane what this guy has done. And Give me the it's, greatest uh, it's, it's mostly in the public eye. Uh, or That's a lot of I it thought. was. Well, yeah. the, the Aaliyah, Aaliyah, the Aaliyah, Aaliyah thing. He married Aaliyah when she was underage. It got annulled immediately. Now, she's, did she go? Did she call, a Aphebophilia. Aaliyah yeah. was a plane crash? Uh, so they say. Oh, you think she's <laughs> Elvising? Yeah, she may have crashed into adult dick. Um, she no, was driving she, and she was like, oh my God, a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, girl! It's a mountain. You can climb that mountain if you believe. I believe you can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> 
He goes, hey, hey, Leah, take the wheel, <laughs> take the wheel of this plane. He goes, uh, he goes, I can't. I don't know how to fly. He goes, I believe, I believe you can you. fly. He goes, I'll give it a whirl. Oh fuck, we're going down. <laughs> I mean, I'll try anything once. Leah, believe more. <laughs> believe, you're not believing enough. We're nose diving. Uh, man, I hope the Aaliyah estate doesn't listen to this. Um, that was definitely not nice. Well, she, when she was 15, they got married. What? It got annulled. Was she the one he pissed on? I mean, probably. I mean, listen. If everyone keeps in, saying that. Wedlock. Everyone keeps saying who's the one that he pissed on. I, I, on the videotape, I'm not fully sure, but you don't just have your one piss girl. Right. If you're into pissing on girls, and, he, and in that video, if you remember it, when he peed on the girl, did you watch it? Did everybody else watch it? I haven't it? seen it in a long time. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a long time either, but I do recall it was well, yes, such I have seen it. what I thought was crazy about it. Did you ever see it? I just remember real grainy it's shit. It's very footage. grainy. Yeah, it's yeah grainy. that's why I don't believe it was him. It's very Free grainy. Kelly. Free what's, Kelly. Re- what's crazy about it? <laughs> I'm not fully free on Kelly. <laughs> He's free. What's yeah, crazy dude. about it is that he takes like... It's in his own mental jail. It's not like uh, like squirts of piss. He takes like a toilet piss on them. <laughs> that's what's weird about it. It's like a it's like a he's bored almost standing there with his dick in his hand, just like waiting. He's like, here, wait, don't talk, don't talk. Don't, wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he, there it is. I mean, in the mi- in the middle right, of it. All right, all right, knock it off. In the middle of it, your baby doesn't like to pee. Your baby doesn't like to pee. <laughs> Baby doesn't like the pee pee. I swear to God, he looks so bored while he's pissing on this child that in the middle it looks like he does like a. <sighs> let's all let's all the urinal fart. One hand. Oh, <laughs> oh! Somebody needs to fix these creaky tiles. <laughs> he hits you with an uncle joke afterwards. Whoa! So that so let's let's duck. So you get a duck run through here. <laughs> Hey, some of that dog was barking spiders. <laughs> Did he stutter step it? Like, he's an older man. He might have had prostate issues. I don't know. He was young old. at the time, right? I think he, he was, was young. younger. In his 30s, maybe? Yeah, early hey, 30s. No time is too early to get checked. How how, yeah, that's how old Lotus say was? That's a nice thing. When he started pissing on him, early, early 30s. That's when he got to piss? Yeah. So I'll tell you, I'm close. Uh, what, do you think his, what do you think his 40s became? Straight scat. <laughs> Straight fucking chest shit porn. Japanese chest shit porn. I had to move to Okinawa, y'all. <laughs> um, it, this documentary is so mind blowing because the woman, the woman who it started the Me Too movement, hashtag Me Too movement, who uh, I don't want to say mean things about her. You called you you when we were watching it together. You said she looked like Ving Rhames, and I said I don't know if that's appropriate to talk about a woman like that, <laughs> especially a woman of this stature. In this, she's such an important woman for the cause. I and mean, then you're sitting there. I don't think that's how it came in your out. Fucking sweatpants, <laughs> sleaze core man. <laughs> sitting there saying she looks like Ving Rhames, and I I she almost sound laughed. like Ving Rhames. She sounds. She, she was like a lot. Like no, but what I said <laughs> Me was too motherfucker. Sort of, but here's the thing. I did uh, what I I, did, I may have said you like Ving Rhames, may, and then you have. and then you were like, no man, more like Manuel Noriega. No, that what? was you too. And you then Christine came in and was like, me. it looks like Manuel Noriega and Ving Rhames had a woman child, and it's the lady from the Me Too movement. Um, I did what I did say was I called her Ving Rapes. That's true, yeah. Oh, good one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's more Noriega than Vegas. Youch. All right. And here's what's so crazy about the world Eef. and just how superficial the world is, and you got to say it. She's the, the Me Too movement has been around for a decade, Christina said, right? Yep. A decade. And then uh, Harvey Weinstein shit started coming out, and it was like pretty white girls were like, Me Too. And they go, That should be a thing. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. I mean, if I'm you like, if you sir, if we, that would be a great. Oh, here's where I, this is the first thing I've ever thought of for a great man on the street thing. Black Lou, maybe you could do it tomorrow. If you ask people on the street, like, uh, how long has the Me Too movement been around? I bet they'll say two years, two three years. No one will say more than two or three. I'm years. having a hard time believing she's patient zero. I, I, she started the movement. Doesn't mean it happened. She goes, she goes when she goes. I remember I worked at a at a clinic. 
And I heard so many stories. Like, oh, okay. You heard of the stories. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I'll be damned. She's a rough looking woman. Thank God Alyssa Milano was pretty enough to get people to pay attention to Me Too movement. Oh, my, that was my first crush ever. That was my first crush ever. Alyssa Milano. Me too. Young Sam on Who's the Boss. Hey, oh, went to go see Samantha. Went to go see her at a car show. Hey, a black woman created the Me Too movement, a campaign against sexual assault 10 years ago. Uh, women opened up about their stories of sexual assault after a post by Alyssa Milano. <laughs> she got us kicked off, man. Samantha. 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 She kicked the whole thing off. Um, but what she describes, this woman, and her name, I want to give her her credit here. What is, uh, what's her name, Christine? <laughs> we got this. We can do this. Toronto. Marcel Wallace. Yeah. Toronto Soros. <laughs> <laughs> Tarana Burke. <laughs> this is me, Wallace. Guys, I honestly, I, I don't feel comfortable with this. Yeah, me either. Well, that's why I, I told <laughs> you before. Funny. I go, you shouldn't say those things you said back at you the house. You said it at the house. house. No, at the house when you said it. You, you said like, it. I wouldn't do this on radio, and I was like, I, I'll understand. I said I wouldn't do it on radio, but then I wanted to out you <laughs> when we the, got on air. <laughs> you wanted to out me? Yeah. Uh, Tarana Burke describes, and this is, I told Black Lou this outside, and Black Lou shook his head. SMH for uh, two straight minutes just depressed at the reality of this and that a black woman is the one who had to say it to the world. She describes that every time R. Kelly, something else would happen. It was like the Aaliyah thing. I don't want to... I'm fucking up the timelines in this, but she gives at the real timelines. And it's to the effect of uh, the accusations came out at first and he married Aaliyah underage and everyone was like, what's going on with this guy? Why is he into young girls? And then the Ignition remix came out, and everyone just forgot about it and started dancing to his music. <laughs> it's, the MJ, goes, I mean, it's the MJ effect. I, I mean, swear to you, goes, and then the sex tape came with the piss, the kids, and everyone's like, oh my God, R. Kelly's pissing on a child. He goes, and then he put, and then Step in the Name of Love came out. <laughs> step in, step, step in, yeah, this song came out. And they go, and everyone forgot, and they go, and the Me Too lady goes, and you know, black people, it's, you know, when it's a song they want to dance to at the barbecue or the family reunion or the club, it's like MJ Amnesty, they just start forgetting. They want to believe the guy didn't do it. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> what? So every time, at some point of his year, every, every year or so, someone come in and go, R. Kelly, they found out about all the little girls you're fingering. And he goes, yo, Timberland. We got to make a banger. <laughs> He's like, how much of a banger? He goes, like top ten. He goes, like top three. Uh, they got video evidence of me hanging a full toilet piss on a child. <laughs> yeah, but he, he did it. He did it. Dude, that's your set the bar. That Chappelle Show remake one is so funny. Oh, that's great. He, he set the bar with that piss. Better? And uh, then he followed up, dude. He what? He set the bar pretty high with that piss, and he was like, "This is I gotta be able to make something so good, people forget about this." People forget that I pissed on a and kid he did on it. videotape. And he, did, and he it. did it. Ignition remix. I I say free him. <laughs> That's how good it is. Yeah, you, you just played that while you were playing that. I was like, ah, you didn't do anything that bad. Christine loves that we had a thing at the Comedy Cellar a few weeks ago. Artie Fuqua, the host, was on stage. And the, you know, there's a live band that plays, uh, Red and Jeremy. And they started playing Ignition Remix, and the whole audience and Artie were singing along and, and doing it. I mean, dancing and, and singing along, oh, yeah. drunk and happy. And I was, got on stage and I was like, it's such an interesting, it's so weird. There's people who have been outside this club protesting Louis <laughs> for, uh, pulling his dick out in front of an adult and presenting it, and they run away. I'm not saying he's, this, it's not a fucked up thing or whatever. I'm not even making a judgment call. On that as a good thing or a bad thing, it's a bad thing that what Louis did. But this guy's <laughs> pissing and fucking pissing on fucking children, and he slid through the cracks. If anything, we've mapped out <coughs> how to get Louis's good graces back with society. How get fucking in the studio? Th yeah, really. <laughs> Knock how out some indie jams. Uh, give me how that, famous uh, did R. Kelly uh, stay? <laughs> music popularity beyond allegations and like uh, evidence. No, I mean he had court. And shit, but he always got off. He paid everybody. 2008, it says he was acquitted of everything. It was something that's like 14 counts of child pornography. He paid everybody. MJ? <laughs> no, uh... Oh, I thought it was the same thing. It's, yeah, the amnesty of good beats. <laughs> I don't know if it's... I don't think it's as, uh, the same. I don't know what guilty is R. Kelly. <laughs> really? No? Thriller. I, that's what I'm saying. Thriller. Thriller, man. 
No, I, I you look really. The other I don't way, know. You go, oh, off the wall. Whatever. No, Michael Jackson was. I, I don't know if I can even say worse, but as bad, if not worse. Well, he if was he was children, guilty, he yes, was going, but I don't, I don't think it was as you obvious. Ever, you don't think he ever diddled, diddled kids at all? I'm not sure, but with R. Kelly, it seems pretty clear. Uh, R. Kelly, it's uh, I think they got him dead to rights, pretty much. I mean, there's a yeah, documentary, yeah. a six-hour documentary with people who are like, yes, he did this to me, and I'm willing to show you my face and say... Their lovemaking must be beautiful. Well, look, That's Jacob, right. I don't know if I'd call it lovemaking when it's under duress, you piece of shit. Oh, thank God you come in your <laughs> pants. Imagine the predator you'd be if that thing was firing on all cylinders. Pedophile the prejects. Uh, <laughs> hey, kid, hey, kid, you want to get in my van? Oh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> You're good. Keep playing. Jacob's Fuck. a registered... Almost pedophile. Jacob's <laughs> Mr. Slinkum. <laughs> like he goes, hey, little boy, you want to help me find a little... Uh, oh, no, 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 I, I found goes, the dog. Don't never mind. <laughs> I found the fucking dog. Wait, hang on. What? Hello? Oh, this is the dog's at home. Never mind. <laughs> you fucking shoot loads in the van. <laughs> Hey, little girl, your mommy told me to pick you up. Uh, 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 I don't know your mom, kid. Run home. Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> He kicks him out of the van's moving. <laughs> yeah, he shoves him out the door. He doesn't yeah. bother to stop. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, idiot. <laughs> kid's like, what happened? That guy drove me half a block and kicked me out of his van. You're overexcited. The kid's in the car going, I thought I was going to help you find your... I thought we were going for ice cream. <laughs> there was no ice cream, idiot. What are you doing? What am I doing? You know, you're second guess yourself. Yeah, what are any of What's doing? wrong with me? What's wrong with me? This never happens. God yeah, damn. Yeah, Out here pedophiling. <laughs> <laughs> Your after come thoughts of pedophiling. <laughs> oh, man, what the fuck am I yeah, doing, man? man. Shit up or ship out. Yeah, stop doing this, man. You know, I got to take up. I can play a sport. I can go to the gym two more times a week if I pedophiled less. Dude, Jacob showed us <laughs> a fucking hot video of uh, him drumming. I mean, yeah, drumming. Yeah. Creeping death. It was fucking impressive. Double bass drum. Yeah. Can we post it? Well, these up. people know. We show all your fucking worst. But there moments. is another side to me. <laughs> yeah. 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 The coolest I get a lot of I get a girl yeah, in that dude. room. She'll it's be not the one just, it's not, just, it's not just screaming like a, like your Joey Logano's wife at a fucking race. <laughs> and uh, she's in your own pants, dude. <laughs> fucking Jacob shreds. I was impressed. <laughs> Can you bring it up? Oh, wait, I know when we take our break. When we come back from our break, the idea that I have that I want to do... Makes me so happy. Uh, the R. Kelly, there's going to be more to come. As I watch this documentary, there's going to be so much. Uh, oh, I gotta watch more. oh, yeah, dude. You do have to watch it. Yeah. It's compelling television. Yeah, I'm going to watch it. You watched like. I watched we, a little bit. We watched like 40 minutes yeah. today. I, Christine, in the little bit you watched, right? I, I'm. I'm just happy that somebody's finally ripping him down. Everything you've heard, you're like, the, these, it's children. <laughs> he's doing this to children. It's like testimonial Christine. stuff. It's not. Oh, he's got a cult and all kinds of shit going on now. I mean, oh, guys, he, had a, he had a three kids with a wife during all How of this. How dare you guys? The it's white man, the white man would call it a cult. He's just out there making love. <laughs> and you white devils can't fucking stand it. You can't start a cult of bump and grind. Is it, it a, a recreation? You can. Is it a dramatic recreation or? Like, no, 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 no. testimonial it's all, documentary it's, it's style. It's the people who have gotten out of it, like uh, ex-angels. Oh. oh. Yeah, and and people, but active, yeah, they're pursuing. They're bringing camera crews. They're bringing camera crews to the girls locked in hotel rooms that are like, you have to get out of here. It's crazy. <laughs> oh. That's right. The artist describes watching her 14-year-old niece allegedly getting peed on by R. Kelly. Please play that. <laughs> allegedly. Jacob, trying to come in your pants. Oh. <laughs> Try to come yourself to this. Has the same hair. Yeah, you will. It'll move on. You, why don't you make a fucking Jacob? Jacob, we'll get past this. Why don't you write a fucking dope ass song? <laughs> write a dope ass R and B song. Often it never happens. Can you remix the remix to Ignition? <laughs> Style she had. So he's asking for it with that 14. bib. That was her, for sure, and that was him, definitely. I know that stream. Sexual acts, including urination, oral sex. I have to do that to her. Hey, what well, don't make me feel bad for joking about this? Dude, what do you got to think? Oh, no. no. Listen, I promise you, we make jokes as we're a fucking comedy show. Uh, and I, I'm even disclaiming that just because yeah, you said yeah. it's a comedy show. It's it's uh, it's yeah. fucking crazy. I'm yeah. saying I'm watching it because it's disturbing. Wrong, yeah, it's wild. It's what this guy did is absolutely not. I, I can't really believe so. he's not in jail. It's the same praying on on. He just likes them in this weird wheelhouse, like fourteen to seventeen. 
It, it's oh, come the, on, thing, man. the thing about the cellar incidents, like the R. Kelly stuff and the Louis C.K. stuff and just looking at all this, it's like we've been hearing about this R. Kelly stuff for years. So why is it all of a sudden now everybody's going to go, well, now I fucking hate him. Like now yeah, I think he's I a bad guy. Now I don't like any of his stuff. And that was the same thing with Louis. I'm like, those rumors have been. It had been circulating around comedy. He was a creep forever, and it was what Andy Kindler brought up. It's like, you guys have all known this. All of a sudden, you hate the guy, and so you don't know how much of it's, like, genuine concern for other people and how much of it's just, like, you want to look good to other people. Uh, yeah, it's no, for sure, Z, because when you could let it go, he just seemed to tend to let go. Oh. I mean, it, with this guy, it's, there's so many of them. Like, the Michael Jack, it is crazy. I'm like, Michael Jackson's, like beloved and went down as a legend and it's like he may have been fucking children yeah that was no, one where it's, a, it's a controversial legend for sure yeah. and that was the one the whole public kind of brushed it under the rug we were like yeah we yeah, kind of maybe no maybe. but you know but i also like don't think like it's great that cosby went down before he died like he is still going to have a legacy of like putting out one of the greatest sitcoms of all time no he's not no he's not if, no. uh, yeah, I think you, you think can separate the, future, the two. I think they're going to go, oh, he was a horrible guy, but like this I show. I promise was... you, the show people will watch that show for morbid curiosity now. I, I think it will still get he, known he, as, a, as a, a show that saved the sitcom, the family sitcom. Because that's what it did. I'm telling you, well, I, I'm t- they're going to erase it from history. It's going to be like fucking Chris Benoit on WWE. <laughs> they're going to erase it. I'm telling you. That's the guy that killed his wrestler. Like, it's, it's like he didn't exist. It's yeah, a weird yeah. thing yeah, to yeah. do, because they do. It's part of the story. I think they should do that. I think it should be part of the story, but they, they won't. Get yeah, scrubbed. It, definitely. All this is a reminder of, like, do, like, don't fucking look up or idolize people just because they're talented. And it's also... And it's a problem with, across the board. Well, I mean, I have a thing. Again, Louis, uh, all Louis C.K.'s punishment, quote-unquote punishment, has come from the public opinion... Like making making people cut his work or whatever, you know, or or things going like that. I don't know if this is going to like. I mean, R. Kelly is like he's not in any kind of trouble. Well, the, the thing I, I, so I, I my question is almost where they take Louis. They took his movie out of the theater. It never came out in the theater. They took all of his shows off the air. Is R. Kelly songs are they in the system here, Lou? Yeah, yeah. there's a yeah. ton. We a ton, all, right? We got all of them. Mm-hmm. It's fucking weird. Yeah, they never try to erase him. It's very bizarre. The documentary he put out became a cult classic. It wasn't a documentary. It was a music video. The, the music. That's it. Dude, Not there was that, one line in that. My favorite like documentary, Michael Jackson's like thriller. Or some shit. Yeah, it was, a, it was an opera. And then at one point, he's like, oh my God, a midget. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. And they get covered. Yeah, R. Kelly might be my new favorite. <laughs> Again, oh, he's dude. got a, uh, what's the song that Stern broke down one time? I Confess or something? It's song I confess. It's just him talking. It, it I confess that I mind. can't read so good. Yeah. It's oh yeah, you can't read. I confess I can't spell for shit. <laughs> he was saying I can piss, and they were like, "You got to change it." <laughs> that sounds. I, I, I feel like even if everybody came out, there's people where it's like they still might enjoy the song "Ignition" when it comes on. You can go, "Oh wow, he's a bad guy," but I still like this song. There's, the thing about the Louis set that came out, there was a girl that wrote like an article on a feminist blog about it, and her most appalling thing was that there was anybody laughing at what he had to say. Like, she thought that it was so horrible that anybody could find a funny person funny. Do they, say, do they believe... I always think that's interesting when one person in an audience is angry at you. I've had them, like, the one person... Like, you know, this is awful. It's terrible. Mm-hmm. It's like, do you think there's a group psychosis happening around you? Like, isn't right. it maybe this isn't your thing or it's not, you know, whatever. It's such a weird thing that goes, like, this sucks. And it's like... If everyone hated this in the room and you were like, I go, but it's just, if you're the yeah. one person, yeah, yeah. isn't it a weird thing to come up like that? That harsh, this is terrible. And every, if somehow you found a room full of idiots that don't know that. <laughs> and that's like, well, that's, that's, odd that's thing. how legends are made. <laughs> Martin Luther, dude, that's the thesis he put on the wall. He was like, this actually sucks. <laughs> and everyone was like, what? It it's sucks. Close. He goes, well, we're gonna we follow. didn't know it sucked. <laughs> it seems pretty great. Um, play more of this. Just didn't know that it was a point in time where they were talk. Yeah, this is one of his. It was around where a girl that knew something. Oh, I know. With this this girl here, so a girl made the sex tapes like got out, and and if someone was started blackmailing him to get the sex tapes back, R. Kelly, that she's in, and she says, she, as a decide for yourself, she, R. Kelly's trying to make it seem like she's extorting him for money. But she said she took the tape and gave it to somebody else, like, to hold, which does uh, seem weird. Yeah. And then that person ended up, like, 
trying to extort him for money. But could you imagine what kind of extortion do you pay when a guy goes, I have your VHS tape of you peeing on that kid. And they go, give me $300,000 and I'll give you your tape back. You're like, oh, how about the seven bazillion copies you could have made by <laughs> yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Like, why would you ever pay the money? How do you, would you ever trust you're getting all of that back? It would have to be like a lifelong contract of X amount of dollars and you'd have to always know that they could up it. Like that's uh, yeah, thing. like how do you Once ever get out of that? Something Keep on that. you, they have on you. Out of day format. But you know what's hilarious? When they try to blackmail people about being gay, and they just come out of the closet, like Louis Anderson, I think did that. You just come out of the closet because someone's trying to blackmail you. It's, you the funny thing is, you can't get ahead of peeing on children. <laughs> yeah, goes, yeah, yeah. I'll fucking put it out there. You're peeing on a child. He goes, you know what? I'm gonna put it out there. Yeah. <laughs> hey TMZ, I got an exclusive for you. I like peeing on kids. Wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> I fucked up. But this girl says that like people were talking about murder. Like, they found out later they were talking about murdering her to keep her out. I mean, I, yeah. bet, I bet when yeah. a celebrity's that big, like they think about shit like that. That big and doing so, like you big. said, there's no justification. There's no like I'm just a creep or you know even Corey Feldman. It's like his chicks are adults. You know they 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 might be. They might not be all there, not the brightest crayons in the box, but they're adults. It's like when you're taking, I, I was telling Black Lou outside, it's like when you just become a sexual being as a chick, it's the first time men can make you stupid in a way child. And you're dealing with that and to just systematically abuse that type of chick. Yo, I make chicks stupid. <laughs> like, I make chicks We're so stupid, dumb. Dog. Like, I've never felt so, you know, it, it's like the dumbest breed of human is like a fucking, you know, girl that just started her period. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so, like, you know, like, it, it fucking sucks. It's like guys getting erections for the first time. Yeah! You know, Definitely. Like, what do you do with it? <laughs> Fuck yeah. What you do with it is you push it against the church pew in front of you. That's what I did. Really? A young boy Never in church. church pew. Yeah, well, I, had, I, I went to Catholic scared. school, so, so we were I. in church. I would just fucking smash it against that. Then get him alone. Because I love God. God. But the laws exist because those girls are attractive to men, and there has to be laws to protect them, and these are guys just not giving a fuck about that or the psychology of it. And going for him anyway. Christine, can I take a hot piss on you later? See what all the hubbub is about. Like you haven't peed on me before. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. That's in front of it. That's in the shower. <laughs> I, I want to pee cams. on our bed. Huh? You really want to pee on our stuff? <laughs> no, I don't want to pee on our stuff. I've peed on you in a shower, but I've also, but it's always, almost always been as like a laughing joke. Is it? It's never yeah. hot. <laughs> almost always, <laughs> almost always, there was a hot shower piss. Yeah, no, you're right. You it's mean, always a joke. So he's like, yeah. I'm peeing on you. It yeah. was yeah. never hot. You're right. If you mean business, move the coffee table out of the way, put a tarpaulin down, and yeah. fucking drink a gallon of water. Yeah, mm. that's how you get down. So, oh. mm. sorry, did you learn that when you were stationed in fucking Da Nang? <laughs> Damn, you were in Da Nang. Hell yeah, was <laughs> in the shit. Uh, get back to the lady Sparkle talking about her niece getting peed on. Yeah, her. Her name's Sparkle. Yeah, Fuck yeah. Awesome. seems credible. Do a start family. She a fucking <laughs> horse. <laughs> also, R. Kelly goes for at one point. They say he was fucking the daughter of his bass player. Did you catch that at all, DJ Lou? Uh, he, he like fucked all his friends' kids. <laughs> yeah, like his friends' Damn, kids. Yeah, and, like this is like, uh, this, this is one of his artists, Sparkle, <laughs> right? Black Lou, I'm going to you for that one, Black Lou. Uh, Spar- her niece is the one getting peed on in the video. Yeah, yes, it's fucking so crazy. So many people around him that you could pee allowed on. This to happen. Oh. <laughs> there, there's you know so many people you can pee so on. It's got to be your friends' kids. <laughs> there's so many people that know about this. There's so many people that work with him anyway. There's just so many people that really don't care. I tell you guys right now, if you guys ever have kids, I promise you I won't pee on them. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, bro. You have my word. Thanks, bro. Oh, wait. What if it just happens, though? I love it. Yeah. 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 They're such targets. I mean, if it's a gag, if you're doing it as a gag, yes. Yeah. I put a balloon in their butt, and if I pee in their mouth enough, it fills the balloon and it breaks. And then I win a Pink Panther. Uh, we're going to take our first break. When we come back, I have such a fun idea. I hope we have time. If not, we'll we'll swing it over and do the second half of it tomorrow. But uh, I have such a fun idea to do here. I saw on the show is R. Kelly's ex-wife leaves him when she says she went to the domestic abuse website and looked up. There's a list of 17 questions. Oh. And she goes, there was only th- two or three things that R. Kelly hadn't done to her. And she should leave. I'm picking up what you're So I want to go on that website and see, in fact, if Christine or I are <laughs> abused by each other. I'm willing to venture to say yes. <laughs> We're both very abused. And neither of us can sing like this. Follow <laughs> me. 
And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. It's the bonfire. Coming to the radio, Sirius XM 95. Big J Okerson hanging out today, of course, for Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast. And also a fair one, Compound Media Network. Shane Gillis Yo. from the Raw Report. Right here at Sirius XM. Everybody, Merck face himself. Um, Dan Soder, of course, off doing his billions thing. Is there anything I can tell people uh, besides DanSoder.com for his tickets, Christine? Is there a way I could tell people where he's going to be? The punchline in Atlanta. That's right, Atlanta. Hot Atlanta. I was there not long ago. Awesome crowds. A lot of campers. Do you go Make there sure all the time? Out. I go to Atlanta all the time. And I've been working all here for time. about, let's remember now, 10 years. I go to uh, Atlanta all the time. <laughs> well, Dan Soder's going on January 24th to the 26th. Get tickets for that in all Dan shows at dansoder.com. Uh, make sure you listen to Shane's podcast and, or oh, both podcasts. They're both podcasts. Uh, Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast and a fair one. Uh, and I'm going to be at Helium in Buffalo this weekend, everybody. That's right. Thursday nice. through Saturday. It's a very fun club. I'm excited to go. Um, when we last left you, R. Kelly was doing terrible things to people. And his I believe I was in Space Jam. Yeah, it sure was. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's for, actually. Yeah. It was written for Space Jam. That's badass. Yeah. He likes to go, hey, little girl, you like that cartoon <laughs> song I made? <laughs> um, his ex-wife says at one point she went to the domestic abuse website, and there's 17 questions. Did we find these questions? Is anybody able to come up with them? Christine. Mm-mm. Christine, did you find the fucking questions? God. I couldn't look it up Holy we shit, on this bitch. <laughs> I'm no, it's okay, guys. Right it's okay. This is how she learns if I publicly humiliate her. Christine, where the fuck are the questions? You can't find the we- the website? Shut up. I think I have. How long do they expect this fucking... Uh, how long does a woman think she has to go surfing through the net? They should make it a very easy website. Yeah, it should be very easy. Help.org? Yeah. You shouldn't even be a dot something. The National Domestic Violence Hotline. Quiz. <laughs> Is this abuse? I got it. Um, got on my phone. Am I being abused? Being abused? Is that what you're talking about? 17 questions? It's more of a check mark list. It's more of a bullet point rundown. Is how many? Are there a bunch of them? Yeah. Are there a lot? I just want to make sure there's a lot, because I want to keep score here. If Christine does it to me or I do it to her. Jacob, you keep score. There's 13. There's take violenceinfo.ca, Christine. Provided by the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. Love it. So this and, is national. And CAD. This is national. Okay, I'm finding something for Victoria. Victoria, Canada? Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. I guess this is Canadian. Dot CA. It's probably a little softer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, does he not hold the door for you? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> you better get out of there. I thought it was going to be more masculine where it goes, after you hit her, did she learn? <laughs> did she ever leave the oven on again? Do you think you're being abused? Whoa. This is the one you have to see? one. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Does your partner... <clears throat> <laughs> First one, number, number one. one. Keep a score, Jacob. Does your part? Does your partner ever embarrass or make fun of you in front of friends or family? Put down your accomplishments or goals. Um, I'm going to say, does Christine do that to me? Yes, she is embarrassed and made fun of me in front of my friends. She's embarrassed me for sure. Yeah, I remember that. She called you jealous, Jay, a bunch. Now, give me one, because she does not put down my accomplishments or goals, really. No, there's nothing regular about that. So I'll uh, I'll say Christine does one of those to me. Christine? Oh, we're going beat for beat on oh, the yeah, questions? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I do uh, both of these yes things? Yes and yes. Yes and yeah, yes. I'll say it. Tie ball game right so far. Uh, does your partner make you feel like you're unable to make oh, decisions? No. Use intimidation or threats to gain violence. I'll say with me, Christine. Compliance. Lines. Lines. The Freudian slip out of this Not case. violence. Compliance. You said violence. Did I? Yes. I'm pretty sure you did. He did. Me, threats, Freudian slip. Use intimidation or threats to gain <laughs> violence. Um, no. Does it make you feel like did you're you unable say to no? Make- no, 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 I'm looking at the question. I'm yeah, I, the question. Said, I just watched you yell at her and threaten a clear her to bring question. you fucking food. Ask the questions. 
Uh, it, to me, in two parts. That's why we could do this. Go ahead, Mark Face. You asked me the question in two parts. Right. Make you feel like you're unable to make decisions? No, she doesn't make me feel that way. Christine? No. Oh, wait. Yes, she does make me feel that way. Uh-huh. <laughs> See? Prime example right there. She does. You, not sold on an answer. <laughs> I'm just not going to make a decision there. But yes. <laughs> but she does not use threats. So what are you saying, Christine? Does Jane make you feel like you are unable to make decisions at any time? No. Really? Really? All right. All right. Does Jay ever use intimidations or threats to gain compliance? No. Yeah, you should have <laughs> seen the look he gave her during that answer. Like, hey, we're... I'm trying to... I'm like, these questions suck, but make you no, feel like you're I mean, unable to make decisions? Compliance is kind of broad. It could be anything like, hey, if, you don't, if we don't go to Wawa tonight, you know, I will fucking... Do I use intimidation? Not intimidation ever. Or threat? No. Okay. Christine, so, do I fucking use intimidation? No. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead. Uh, Jay, does Christine ever tell you that you are nothing without them? Yes. Nothing without her? Yep. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah, Christine. I like if we could provide examples. This would be a much more colorful conversation. Uh, she definitely <laughs> thinks that the only reason my career is going anywhere uh, in the time that I've been with her is because of the things she has done. She thinks there's no yeah, way I would have, I would have never gotten anything if she wasn't willing to let me dictate my jokes so she can transcribe them for TV. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks they wouldn't have wanted me on TV if I had to hunt back and type it myself. So, but, uh, so yes. No belief in your talent. Yep, that's me. <laughs> no belief. Is this so number does, one right now? Does she tell me I'm not? Are you gonna... number one in her right now? <laughs> Are you embarrassing her or making fun of her in front of your friends? We have to keep score. All right. Telling that there's nothing that I'm, there's nothing about them. Christine, yes, she does say that to me. Go ahead. Do I say that to you, Christine? Yes, 100%. I'm sure, I do. Okay. And by the way, but I'm right. Mm -hmm. She would be nothing without me. This this this, this one's a little J. I mean, this one could be a little broad. Does uh, Christine ever treat you roughly? Within that subcategory, grab, push, pinch, shove, or hit. Pinch is like a little... That could be lovey. Mm. A little purple nerp. Nah, no. No, Christine. No. No rough stuff. Mm -mm. Just uh, trying to abuse my pets, though. You don't have any right. pets. That's later well, on. I, in the I would though. If she had a pet, I would threaten it. If oh, <laughs> I, I don't believe, I'm I, would, I would take her. If she had a puppy, I would take the puppy and be like, "I'm going to go in the other room and murder this motherfucker." I take her in the other room and goes, "I'm not going to murder you, little stupid idiot, you fucking idiot. Get out of here." This one I've been a part of. Does N J? Does Christine call, text, or email you several times a day, or show up? to make sure where you are or where you said you were going to be. Nope. She says she's relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. Christine, vice versa. Yeah, no. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is a good one. To Jay, does Christine ever use drugs or alcohol as an excuse for saying hurtful things or abusing yes. you? Yes. Yes, she has. Past, present, or future? Mm, both. Uh, oh, no, oh, both. That was three things. Um... <laughs> I added that part. Past, present, and I don't know about the future. <laughs> really? <laughs> Depends how abused we are. Christine, same question. No. Good man. I got to be honest. I Right now, I have a baby girl. Mm -hmm. A baby girl yeah. without following these guidelines. <laughs> right. These I know. are like my fucking commandments. <laughs> <laughs> this is a playbook on how to keep a young girlfriend. Hell yeah. Oh, my gosh. I agree with you. Mind control. <laughs> this one I don't care for, but Jay, does Christine ever blame you for how they feel or act? Yes. Christine? Yes. Okay. Jakob, you got that? It's okay. usually because I'm an idiot. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good. A specific yeah. example. Yeah, yeah, Christine. Yeah. She has to say that three times a day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, interesting one. Jay, does Christine, we're going to start with this, does Christine ever pressure you sexually for things you don't want to do? No. Christine? No. Oh. Freaks. <laughs> yeah, this one's great. Uh, Jay, does Christine ever make you feel like there is no way out of the relationship? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Christine, same question to you. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Let me leave your kidney. I showed Christine several different avenues she could take out of the relationship. 
<laughs> what about preventing you from doing things you spend time with friends or family? No. No. Christine? No. No. It's because you guys are friends and family. <laughs> we are friends. Uh, wow. <laughs> this is nice. And the does your partner try to keep you from leaving after a fight or leave you somewhere after a fight to quote unquote teach you a lesson? Yes. You try to leave, you try to keep me from, you try to keep me from leaving after a fight? Yeah. We, yes. That's yes and yes for both of us. A lot of doors. Yeah. <laughs> All right. After part one, Jacob, can we get the score? I feel like it was a pretty even match. Where are we at so far? You only, you both agreed on everything except two. You're both, uh, Christine is the only one that's, uh, that, uh, abused you, you, by using drugs and alcohol. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. You never did that to her. Nope. I wouldn't. And <laughs> you <laughs> and she's ma- and she's picking chocolate coconut. Out of and her she's teeth. made you feel that there's no way out of this relationship. Mm-hmm. Even, but you have not made her feel that way. That's right. I don't do that. To Aside people. from that, you're even on every other question. But who's well, more? Abu- who's more abusive right now? So Christine is, is two is, times, is two more, times abusive more abusive than you are. Wow. All right. Mm-hmm. Now here's what we do. Now here's what we do for ourselves. Uh, this is where we ask a question about that. This is going to be the really funny part, I think, because this is how we feel about ourselves if we do something. Okay, go ahead. All right, Jay, do you sometimes feel... Oh, wait, should we have, we should have Shane ask these oh, questions? Oh, yeah, Shane. So. Yeah. Uh, Jay, do you sometimes feel scared of how your partner will act? Yup. Christine. Yeah. Wow. We got to work on that. <laughs> Do Jay, do you constantly make excuses to other people for your partner's <laughs> behavior? Yup. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now Can you believe that? Constantly. Good. She's trying to play a game numbers out here. The keyword is constantly. <laughs> Wait, constantly make excuses for constantly. Yep. I constantly make excuses for Christine's behavior. I'm like, he's just a dick. It's just how he is. Yeah. Jay, do you believe that you can help your partner change if only you change something about yourself? I've tried to change everything I could about myself. I've learned. <laughs> That I cannot make Christine change. I've tried to change her. I've done everything. She's unchangeable. She is another level of dumb. <laughs> Christine, same question. Do you think you can make no. Jay change? No. No. All right. So Jay. No. It's two no's. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, do you feel like no matter what you do, your partner is never happy with you? Yes. Wait, no, that's not it. That's this one. Oh, shit. Well, I'll go back to that. You go back. Okay. So that's a yes. Do Christine, I feel like no matter you, what I do, my partner's never happy with me? Yes. Christine, do you yes. feel that way? Okay. You guys, this is good for you guys. Uh, you have to do it with conflict or make your partner angry? Yes. I well, do try. Yeah, who the fuck doesn't? Yeah, that's kind of a dumb question. Yeah. Fuck this. I'm not even but here's the thing is, but even Christine will tell you. Bones a wash. Yeah. But I'll tell you what. Cause she constantly does things that cause conflict and make me angry. So what does that mean? She's wrong again. Yeah, you gotta loosen up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, loosen up, bro. Fucking mellow out, bro. <laughs> mellow out a little, dude. <laughs> Fucking. Yeah, that's the thing about Jay. He's always he's never mellow. Yeah, yeah that's what don't I really worry. hate about him. Be chill. Uh, never <laughs> chill. All right, uh, Jay. Do you always do what your partner wants you to do instead of what you want? No. <laughs> no. Christine, no. Uh, Jay, do you stay with your partner because you are afraid of what your partner will do? If you broke up, Ooh. yeah, she'll kill herself because she'll have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she'll be a loser failure. So hey, hey, hey. Well, we're not doing that. Oh, you we're guys want a short right answer? Oh, I was doing an essay answer. <laughs> Sorry, I thought this was long. Am I killing myself? Yeah, I don't want you to kill yourself when you realize that no one will ever have you because you're ugly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I feel like cla- you just checked off cl- some of the prior <laughs> ones. On like that. You're doing classic abuse. Well, you're ugly. Nobody else wants you, Christine. Honestly, even if they did want you, they probably couldn't carry you. How big and huge you are. <laughs> If they didn't want you, they probably have to... No one wants to rent a van to bring you home. You know Jay, I mean? that, is, that is classic using intimidation or threats to gain compliance. They're probably yeah. going to get pulled over when you have to stop to weigh the truck before you go over a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be back. She'll be back, everybody. Yeah. you got to keep them. Gotta keep back. them in check, dude. She'll be back. They're <laughs> the worst. <laughs> uh, well, I think that's it. That's it. So yeah, Christine, go. what do you think of that? Uh, yes. Yes? Yeah. What do you think Jay would do? You think he'd fucking kill himself? Tell the world bitch? what a horrible person I really am. <laughs> Tell them now. We're together and love each other. <laughs> well, you guys, well, abuse will continue. Yeah. <laughs> it does say that at the bottom. And if any of these are happening in your relationship, talk to someone. And definitely don't take this with your partner. <laughs> if any of them are happening. But this is talking it out. This is talking to somebody. This is airing it out. 
What did you say, Christine? What were you about to say? I said, if any of them are happening. If any of them are happening, it says, go and talk to somebody. Mm. Who are you going to talk to? Yeah, who the fuck are you going to talk to? I would go to therapy, but I can't find an affordable one. My friend Steve. (laughs) He's a photographer. (laughs) We hang out. (laughs) You fucking bitch. He He totally gets me. (laughs) I think this test was designed to make boyfriends feel shitty. Canadian uh, boyfriends. I, I think, a, I think an part. abusive lady wrote this list. Canadian boyfriends is the best, though. <laughs> Canadian boyfriends. <laughs> Do you ever not give her any of your soup? <laughs> Does your partner not give you any of the elk jerky? She forgot to plug up the maple syrup tree. <laughs> there was syrup. Yeah, that you hear that? You, fucking, learn. you dumb fucking Canadians. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> your test sucks. I wonder what the things uh, R. Kelly did. To, did his, uh, I wonder if the ex-wife says what he did at all technically to her do you know what I mean is there any allegations from her like outright the ones that he fucking gave her the old Goro from Mortal Kombat like strangled her and <laughs> picked, picked her up you said he picked her up and put, brought her eye to eye yeah that's a fucking power move yeah she's five foot one she, she wanted to make some eye contact he picked her up he finished her throat he said, you weird. better fucking you better not tell anyone about this bitch. I wonder how many of these girls who left the survivors are doing are a little bit of like uh, sour grapes though too if they're kind of like like he booted them oh, oh yeah you sound like a, a black dude from Philly right now <laughs> so I wonder how many of these yeah, bitches are lying because they got sour grapes <laughs> <laughs> that's his defense that's his literally his defense is an army of black dudes that are like you got it. sour yeah. Can't make soda. But you got sour grapes, bitch? <laughs> you better fucking keep it moving. Now you want to fucking tell shit? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you want to talk when you had my dick in your mouth? Oh, now you want to run tell that? <laughs> and I run tell that. <laughs> you gonna run tell that. I, I'm going to take a break now because we have to take a break. We've got commercials even though we started the... We're in the fucking studio because nothing works at this fucking shit box. <laughs> It's not your fault, Jacob. You know I just get angry, baby. I'm sorry I embarrassed you in public. Jacob's getting angry, so you get compliance. Jacob, I noticed the other day you were calling me a lot just to ask me where I was, and you were like, if I didn't answer, you were going to show up at my show and be all weird. Do you think... Should we Jake- talk to somebody? <laughs> Do you think it's time for us to talk to somebody? Christine, are you okay? What are you doing? You're writing a letter? Mm-hmm. Who are you writing a letter to? Canada. Who the fuck are you talking to? Who are you looking at over there? You jilling off to R. Kelly pictures, you piece of shit? <laughs> does your boyfriend hit? Does your significant? Does your partner hit you for jilling off to R. Kelly pictures? <laughs> the fifteenth question. Um, we'll be right back. We'll take our last break it's here. We're hanging out with Mark Payne, and Sandy Fiore, and Shane Gillis. It's the bonfire. Dude, if I don't dance, I'm gonna die. Hey, go by- Holy moly. Bring through all this right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, straight pro. That's how we keep it here at the bonfire, everybody. Comedy Central Radio Series XM 95. I'm Big J. Ogres, and today, joining in studio, Shane Gillis and Merck Face, Andy Fiore. Now my microphone's cutting in and out. Show's really gone downhill since Merck Face left me. It's, we're it's not prepared to be in the office. We're supposed to be in a radio studio. We're sitting on couches like assholes Thank in a God. fucking office. Jacob, what are we doing? How do the heads roll? When we're not here during the day and you're here with the with the stuffed shirts, what are you doing? Think about it. Are you? I mean, yeah. I mean, we lost a half an hour. What, do they not take you seriously or something? That's crazy. That's not the first time it's happened. I, mean, I know. People, it's the first you time we lost so much know. time, but... Half hour is the most time we've ever lost on this show. It's unbelievable. Well, we've lost we can't 10 do minutes. this. We can't, do it. can't even catch a rhythms. We got to take commercial breaks in an hour and a half. It's it uh, it's we it's we, what we a waste fuck. of a good load. You're so right, Christine. Right. That half is hour it's a waste of a good load, Christine. <laughs> Shane's going through it. It's just I'm having a day. tough time, dude. It's been a day of debacles. All right, I'll, you, I'll come clean. Shane did everyone's nightmare. Everyone's possible. By the way, this no. is going to make J- Jacob might just burn the office and start over when he hears it. Jacob, I know what's going on, but I don't think Jacob knows yet. What? What? It's all right. You said you wanted to come clean. Yeah, I'll come clean. clean. Okay, Jacob, Stop you're not going to be upset. Closet. You're not going to be upset. Sometimes, you sometimes spilled something. I did spill something. Okay. All right. Sometimes when you're a man and you chew tobacco. Oh, you spilled your fucking. <laughs> Look, Jacob, don't let this come between us. Oh, what do you do, Jacob? So it's on nasty. your beautiful floor. It's, it's not that nasty. You won't, you won't even know nasty. it. You, won't, you, you guys won't even know it. You probably won't even know I it's there at all. But just every time you step down, to think how squishy it is. No, this isn't the first time. Spit. 
This isn't the first time I've spilled some fucking spit. What? I spill spit all the time, bro. In here? Never in here. Oh. But you won't know. There's just no habit where you should keep spit. You you think? I'd say so, yeah. If any, that's closest to... Uh, well, that's just coming from a guy who could fucking flatten Chris Collinsworth with one Absolutely. death shot. Do you understand what would happen if Collinsworth <laughs> walked in here right now? <laughs> Jacob, yeah, he oh, just, look at that yeah. one. <laughs> I mean... He's, he, he's not even... Oh, he's not, he's not mad. He's crazy about germs, right? He's, yeah, yeah. You don't want my germs? Uh, not not this way, man. No, man. I, this is just not... I'm going to get them to, to wash the floor. Really? But that's a good thing. It's already gone. Now, what do you okay. say? Uh, yeah, to be fair, this is a very, I don't know if you know can see with Jacob right Andy, now. Andy, you this, work in here also? This, this is, is a very, very stated. This is I a mean, very dry I pants really conversation. Deal, I don't really ever deal with that spot of the floor, and you're pretty far away from it, too. If anything, Whitsky's the closest by Nothing's proximity. Nothing's going to happen. Well, it's funny. When I came in the other day, I happened to notice that that is where Jacob does his yoga and a lot of sit-ups and push-ups on that area. But he'll, he can move some That's furniture right, around or something. Look, I'd rather we just never talk about this. I'm fine with that. We can move on. I'm I just mean, saying, the cameras there. probably caught you. It's Memorial. It's the Memorial. Shane Gillis. Fuck, dude. Memorial. Who the fuck spills a spitter, dude? That's <laughs> amateur shit. Yeah. I've seen a lot. It's got to be Haynes. Remember for years. Years. Has you ever seen somebody drink it? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, especially when people spit into, like, beer cans. You can't see it. Yeah. I drank a fucking cigarette once. I've done a that. Cigarette I did that. In a beer. Me too. It, upset. it was when you could still smoke uh, inside. Yeah. At Caroline's Comedy Club. That's how long ago it was. It's pretty upset. <laughs> I just grabbed the wrong beer. So I've done fucking, the same exact thing. And the cigarette hit your mouth? It hit my back of my throat. Oh! I threw up on the spot. I threw up right on the spot. Maybe gag. I threw up right there. I would too. I could never. Oh. oh yeah, you're right. DJ Mark. Lou, you've definitely chugged on cigarettes before. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. You probably did it to win your next beer for free. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, it's probably I'll drink a fucking cigarette beer. It was my next one on the house. No floaters, bro. <laughs> Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. I thought you did it for a bar bet? <laughs> yeah, but if I, I don't want to throw up, so I don't want to think about it. You did it, though? Yeah, back one of my younger years. Wait, sure. wait, 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 wait. I was totally making that up. You drank cigarette beer? Yeah, the, uh, I forget what it's called, Andy. When you're a bartender and you... It's called yeah. the Spalding. It's called gross. <laughs> you, I don't know. When you empty all the uh, the rubber that holds the drinks, you empty all those rubbers into one drink, and then you got to drink all that. You were, uh, oh, dude. Was, yeah, I know what you mean. You were, draining the bar, you were draining the bar mat. That's it. That's it. But then they threw cigarettes in there, too. Oh, my God, dude. And what do you win? Pride. Fucking... <laughs> no. I was young. Fucking, yeah. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> bar street cred. I get a lot of puss. Well, kids, just so you know, uh, drinking bar rag juice with cigarettes in it at a bar when you're young is part of the recipe that ends you up at a, a buffet for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first Casey. wrong turn. Teen extreme. Wait, you were at a Thanksgiving buffet? Uh, you, yeah. You keep on cleaning over there. I have like a backwards. Uh, <laughs> this thing's more than clean. I should have just left it. Can you tell us, uh, <laughs> uh, do you want to talk at all about your love life at all? I have to leave out now. Oh, dude, I always yet. want to know. Not yet? Okay. Not yet. I want updates, though. We're always worried about you. Who knows? Have you gotten black pussy? Have you not gotten black pussy? It remains to be seen. We'll see. As time goes by, we'll find out. Um, baby girl's going good. How about you, Merc Face? No, I got nothing going on. Have you seen what Jacob uh, has put out there for the ladies? Him fucking wailing on that drums? I did. That's for the ladies. We're finally giving that Jacob a chance is to come back. and make some stools wet. Yeah, we put up a lot of Jacob looking silly, but let's play him shred. Do we have it? You have it here, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. This is Jacob Batot live on the skins. Whew. Double bass drum. Not easy. You're very impressed by that. Dude, that's fucking hard, man. I've Second dabbled. In double bass? And just drumming. That shit's hard, man. Hard to get those four limbs working independently. I sent it to you, Jay. D drummer to drummer, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. As a couple of drummers, I was able to appreciate drummer this. Drummer to drummer, huh? Yeah. Yeah, his, his fucking his tom, his tom work was nice. Is it? Do we have it? Opening, sorry. Oh, my God. Is the computer's not working now? Black Lou, can you ethnic ethnically make a bigger stink about this? With the yeah, that's how I'm trying to get us our own studio. Trust Are you really? Oh, you're trying please. to say they won't give a black man his own studio? I'm, I'm nice. Got to play that card. Love it. You go, oh, I guess you got to be LL Cool J if you want to be a black man with his own studio. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what you know, I'd love to hear about this? Uh, TMZ, 311. Right <laughs> I'm trying to go all the avenues. Page 6, 311. The Daily Blotter. Uh, <laughs> Craigslist. <laughs> 
I'm just trying to get over this spilled spitter right now, mentally. Now, is, uh, we, uh, I want everyone to look over and see what's happening right now. Uh, DJ Lou is trying to explain to Christine how this works, and she's not getting it. And I can see DJ Lou wanting to abuse her. Do you see what I mean, Lou? Yeah. Do you see what how she get? Oh my God! If I could her upside the head, she would get it now, right? But you can't knock her upside the head. So you, instead, you call her names and make her feel worthless, so other people don't want her. Attack! What the fuck? Oh, there he is. Oh, Jacob was able to pull it up real quick. <laughs> that didn't take nothing. Go ahead, turn it up. Or fuck us. That's Jacob live on the symbol. Jacob, I'll tell you what, you're lacking, and I hope people watch along with this at the Bonfire SXM. Uh, you can watch Jacob just fucking shred the skins. You, uh, no flair. I don't know. I told you this in the email. I, I perp, I don't play anywhere, any, I play, a, I'm playing a lot more subdued than I ever do. Spit it out. Because of my neck. Oh, your neck. You fucking, did say that. You did I say that. I play a lot harder than this. By the way, now knowing that it's because you have <laughs> neck problems, yeah, all I, I can don't see want is your face. There. I don't want it out there. <laughs> Frankenstein turning. You're wearing, it looks like you're wearing a halo when you turn. He goes, you go, snare, snare, snare. Uh, floor Tom, floor Tom. That's why I don't want it out there because I play a lot harder than this. I like a good humble. We're not drummer. putting it out. <laughs> yeah, uh, but you even said it. I'm not playing with flair, and I'm purposely. I no, but I mean you're fucking. But, but it also it's kind of cool is showing how good you're doing without playing with. Uh, yeah, you don't give a fuck. Any emotion? You look like a fucking very relaxed. You're yeah. like a Russian kid that was beaten into fucking taking drum lessons, and now you just have to perform. <laughs> Show daddy how you make drums. <laughs> Yeah, you're a technician. You're like, you're not Papa, here for the bullshit. Have I earned dinner? Oh, whole fuck Jacob. Er or yeah. Jacob, I would never abuse you. You're just a north south yeah. runner. None of that fucking around in the backfield. <laughs> just get up there, get it done. That's what you, you do. It. You get it the fuck done. Hell yeah. <laughs> come your fucking pants, quick. <laughs> Hurry up and come in your pants. Man, I'm a, I'm a big proponent of flair. You got to be a show some flair when you drum, but. <laughs> All right, I'll put it back. Fuck showing flair, dude. Uh, Do you have you, see-through you showboating? Sim Jacob, are your symbols see-through? Those are called um, low-volume symbols because I'm, I'm in my <laughs> my parents' garage. I had to play, so I had to buy these. They're they're brand new things, so you could play as loud as you want, and your neighbors won't call the police on you. Did the neighbors just call the police on you, Jacob? <laughs> Is that uh, no, Jake? I did have the police called on me once. Is it's it? pretty cool. Really? Why? When I was a kid. Like, so like 18 years Sorry, old. Sorry, fellas. I'm just I mean, I was a full kid. They the didn't... fucking dream police. <laughs> I was just talking too loud. Yeah. That was what the ticket said. <laughs> Jacob Atat, rocking too loud. <laughs> so <laughs> seriously, though, the timeline of pre-jacking and then to exactly. playing playing drums in your parents' garage. Those What's are that like? Je Those are the jeans. They're washed. You wa did your mom wash them? <laughs> oh, fuck that. <laughs> did your mom fold them? It was like, Jacob, not again. I ran in. I, I, You're just like your father. I, I, <laughs> Mom, I need my luckily, jeans. The house I got empty. a drum. <laughs> The house Jacob, is empty. Jacob, you got I... mayonnaise on your pants. <laughs> you got a bit of mayonnaise inside your trousers. What were you doing? Eating on the toilet? How to get back. in there? Everyone what, did you put a sandwich gone. in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> what if What if Jacob was very direct? Ma, I came in these jeans. You need to wash them so I can get to my <laughs> Actually, drums. I'm sure that's how he did it. Yo, no, Mom, dude, scrub the cum out of my jeans. I'm done. <laughs> I was humiliated I to remember tell that girl I went on a date with? She's done, too. <laughs> I cut my pants. I said, get out of here. <laughs> it was she gave you a fucking pant job, dude. <laughs> I had to spray it with that uh, that spot treatment. I just, you know, just like to make pet? sure. <laughs> did you have the thing you where it, fast it? when you went to your thigh, Jacob? Did you was did you do that cool thing we said where you could pull like the clicks? You know, where like you're pulling your leg hair off of your the jizz uh, shellac leg. <laughs> <Shellacked>. <laughs> I don't know why I keep I've talking talk, about this. I've talked I I talk so about, talk about this often before. I've gone uh, after I, sometimes after I jack it before I get in the shower. Yeah. So then I'm getting in the shower versus getting like uh, tissue or whatever. I, I was rubbing on my leg and jump in the shower. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I don't think it's a big, big deal. Nothing I, wrong with that. I've had a lot of people nah, come at me for that. Yourself. I'm like, well, when I'm, I said, nah. I'm jumping right in the shower. It's war paint. But I've also yeah, I've rubbed like it on, it right under, under his I've eyes. rubbed it on my thigh, and then before I the shower, I have to shit a little more, and then sit down the shit, and then when the jizz dries on your leg, you just grab the hairs that are matted oh, down, yeah, and yeah. when you pull them up, they kind of like it's like it a fun. Well, you're clicking them out, yeah, yeah, all right. 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is a nice thing that not a lot of people talk about, that everybody does. I, I like, know. by the way, the whole time in the background was Jacob fucking shredding Atlas Rise. <laughs> in clean jeans. In fucking in cumless jeans, everybody. So Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast. Yes. Uh, make sure you check that out, as well check as a fair out. one on Compound Media, on Compound Media, or wherever you get podcasts from uh, Merc Face Andy Fiore. Of course, you can listen to his show, The Raw Report. And Defend Your Movie, me and Sean Donnelly's uh, movie podcast. Oh, hell yeah. Defend yep. Your Movie. Sean, yep. what's that on? Uh, just uh, uh, iTunes. Right now. iTunes? Yeah. Very, very cool. Dan Soder, Punchline Atlanta, January 2026. It's time, but this is going to be the next time. I get tickets. Time. Get tickets for that and all Dan shows, dansoder.com. I'm going to be at Helium in Buffalo this weekend, Thursday through Saturday. They make me do so much press up there. Please, everyone, I'd like to once put some asses in the seats. Uh, Shane's, I like you're doing a weird, like... That's how you're always sitting with your foot trying to sop up. <laughs> I'm just subtly spit. cleaning those dips, but best of the bonfire, the thing that airs here on Friday, uh, now available as a podcast. Download, please subscribe. Let them know we're trying to gain some leverage here with Comedy Central and Serious Man. We want to do some newer, bigger things uh, with you guys, the campers. We want the show to grow. Uh, new episodes come out every Monday. Check out our weekly videos. They're up at Comedy Central's YouTube. Follow us at The Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, Christine, Christine, I love you. Do you love me? Better. <laughs> Better. Uh, <laughs> you're nothing without me. And no one wants you anyway. Uh, tomorrow we have Dan Soder back. And then he's going again on Wednesday. But guess what? We just have more fun guests coming in, everybody. We love ya. We're happy to be back with you in the new year. It's the bonfire. <laughs>